I'm Adrian, the Cruise and Travel Guy. As always, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. I wanted to make this short little video as a separate entity to my other videos. And it's really just to address why I walked out of Lumini on board my recent Celebrity Eclipse cruise. If you haven't seen the part one vlog, I mention it in there and you can click the card above or the link below to see it. So I think it was the second night of our cruise and we went to Lumini for dinner and we sat in a different section, which was the front section. We had previously been sitting in the back section where there was a, a different set of wait staff. We sat down, ordered our meal and consumed our entree or appetizer and everything was fine. The main course arrived and I ordered a lamb dish and it was presented beautifully, it looked great and I ate it. The waiter came around to collect the plates at the end of the main course and in doing so he asked how was everything. So I answered and I said truthfully and verbatim, it tasted really good but I found the lamb to be a little bit chewy. I expected that he may have responded with something like, sorry to hear that, I'll let the chef know, is there something else you would like or I can get you? To which I would have said no because I ate the dish and I was full and it was tasty. Instead, he stood there and looked at me standing above and said, and how did you ask for it to be cooked? And I answered medium rare. So at this point, he started to become what I considered to be defensive. And I didn't expect that. I thought it was a little bit strange, but still at this stage, there was no real major issue. After that, he asked what I would rate the dish out of 10. So I said, based on what I ate for that main course, I would say about a six and a half. Then he proceeded to ask me what I would rate his service out of 10. And I said nine even though I really wasn't feeling that, to be honest. Then he asked me what I would rate the weight stuff in the back section of Lumini out of 10. And this whole questioning process was not a nice, friendly chat. This was someone who was strangely defensive and it was just off-putting. So when he asked me that third question, I looked at him and said, nine, same as I rate you, basically. And at that point, he cleared the plates and walked away. And I was sitting there with a knot in my stomach because it was just a strange interaction. It might not even sound that crazy and it really wasn't. It was just the guy's demeanor. I've never experienced someone in a waitstaff situation become super defensive about a comment about a dish that they haven't even prepared. And again, I point out that I did say that it was tasty because it was. And the only criticism I had was that the dish was, or that the lamb was a little bit chewy. So this whole thing went down and it took maybe a couple of minutes and he left, cleared the plates and I was just sitting there feeling strange, very uncomfortable and I was no longer in any mood to eat anything else. He brought over the menus for dessert and left and at that point I just looked down, looked at the dessert options and thought, I'm not eating these, I'm not interested in sitting here anymore and I got up and left and that was it, that was the whole um, interaction. It was strange. I don't know if I can describe it properly to kind of communicate the level of emotion that the waiter was conveying onto me. Standing above and asking me these questions in a super inquisitorial way that wasn't a friendly, I'm trying to find out, you know, what's wrong or it was bizarre. I know that cruise lines use surveys and rating systems as a way to determine how things are going. And I'm used to questions closer to the end of the cruise about that. And in fact, we didn't hear anything after that interaction with that one waiter about ratings and surveys until the last night on the cruise, which is what I expected. And that was from pretty much everyone we interacted with, but that's fine. I mean, I know that that's how they operate. I don't know, I don't have an issue with that at all. And we always complete the surveys at the end of the cruise and make sure to mention the names of people that have been amazing. I just found this interaction to be really weird and strange and I didn't enjoy it. That's it. That was my one and only poor interaction with a crew member on board Celebrity Clips. And after that dinner, I made sure that we did not sit in his section again because I wasn't interested in that kind of interaction over what should be a nice relaxing meal in a luxury environment as it is advertised. That was it. That was the experience. and. Afterwards, we had spoken with a number of other passengers that had seen what happened uh, at other times. We spoke to them and a few of them had noted that this particular waiter seemed to have a, a strange attitude. 
So I don't know what the story is with that particular person. I would never name him. I didn't speak to a manager. I didn't do any of that. I just had a strange interaction and I wasn't happy and I left and that was it. I avoided him for the rest of the cruise, but that's the story. That's what happened. It was not the end of the world, but I didn't enjoy it. And I wanted to share it with you guys because things do go wrong, things do happen and it's not necessarily a big deal but in the moment i certainly didn't feel happy about the way that it all went down and that's it that's the story well i hope you enjoyed learning about what happened it certainly didn't mar my other experiences on board and i'm about to come out with my overall retreat and celebrity cruise review video and um hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up leave a comment below if you didn't like it let me know and i will see you around soon